What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about sexualizing children and how we are on a, on a rapid descent to legal pedophilia. It's going to happen. Mark my words. This is a warning. I've been talking about this. I, I fully believe this is going to happen. Today I'm reading an excerpt from Irreversible Damage. This book is about the transgender epidemic sweeping the nation. Let me read this excerpt real quick and then we'll read an article that is closely related and it's talking about indoctrination, schools, and how evil it all is. In June 2019, the policy-making arm of the California Teachers Association, CTA, met in Los Angeles at the Weston Bonaventure Hotel. On the agenda for public school teacher unions quarterly meeting were a number of routine items, the recent election of new officers, the union's continuing efforts to monitor new charter school activity, and the delegates voted on new business item. Number 6, 1912, requiring immediate action. This was a proposal to allow trans-identified minor students to leave campus during school hours to obtain gender hormone treatments without parental permission. The rationale for this new policy was simple. California state law already allowed cis minors to leave school to receive hormones, that is birth control, without the barrier of parental permission. Trans kids should also be entitled to leave school to obtain their hormones. The delegates voted, and the new item was approved. The CTA would begin to pursue a policy of allowing students age 12 and up to walk out the door during the day to obtain cross-sex hormones. As if that weren't enough, in January 2020, the CTA Civil Rights and Education Subcommittee kicked things up a notch. The committee moved to create a school-based health care clinic that would provide cisgender, transgender, and non-binary youth equal and confidential access to a broad range of physical, mental, and behavioral services. Additional votes are needed for, before this policy can go into effect, but with any luck, in short order, California's minor students who want cross-sex hormones will not only be able to obtain them without parents' knowledge or permission, they will be able to do so without leaving school grounds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this reminded me of something I saw probably three days ago while I was at work. I saw this come up and this is pretty atrocious. Chicago schools to offer free condoms to students as young as 10 years old. When Chicago public schools resume classes in the fall, students as young as 10 year olds, fit grades 5th and up, will have access to free condoms. The CPS Board of Education passed a new policy back in December. Per the new policy, schools that teach grades 5 and up will be required to maintain a condom availability program. CPS said the condoms will provide at no cost by the Chicago Department of public health and an ongoing effort to mitigate the spread of sexually transmitted diseases including HIV infection and unintended pregnancy among students. In an interview with the Chicago Sun-Times, CPS's top doctor, Kenneth Fox, acknowledged that the decision will likely ruffle some feathers, but it said it was necessary to safeguard students' health. When you don't have those protections and you don't make those resources available, then bad stuff happens to young people. You have elevated risks of sexually transmitted infections, unintended pregnancies, and it's very preventable stuff. Starting next month, 600 CPS schools will, will receive thousands of condoms. I really don't even know what to say at this point. First of all, I'm, I still have hope that parents aren't letting their 10-year-old sons and daughters have sex. But second of all, even if somehow a 10-year-old is having sex, first of all, props to him. But second of all, how? 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 Don't parents drive their kids around to play dates? Are kids having sex in schools? If so, why are they having sex in school or outside of school? And why instead of getting in trouble or told to stop or telling the parents about it, why are they given free condoms? It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand if, if there's... Even if there's a crazy amount of kids that were 10 years old having sex, I guess I'm looking at the extreme. It says as young as 10 year old, but we know that this is probably mostly for 15 and up. Regardless, you're not saving anyone by giving them free condoms. You're making things worse because you're saying the action of having sex as a minor is okay. That's what you're saying. When you give someone a condom, you're saying 
you're allowed to have sex as long as it's with a condom. Whereas if you just say, no, you're not allowed to have sex before you're 18, then you're not allowed to have sex before you're 18. I don't understand how the school is doing this. I don't know what's going on anymore. Even just biblically, children shouldn't be having sex. Biblically, sex is between a man and his wife. That is the only acceptable form of sex in the Bible. The only acceptable form of sex in the Bible is between a man and his wife. Everything else is immoral. We are letting kids leave school without parents' permissions to get sex hormones, puberty blockers. We're letting them get birth control without parents' permission. Now we're giving them condoms. We are setting children up to be, we're setting them up for pedophilia. What is stopping a 10 year old from having sex with another 10 year old? Obviously not the schools, they're giving them free condoms. What is stopping a 10 year old from having sex with a legal adult? We're getting close to pedophilia because what if the 10 year old wants to? What if he consents to it? It's a loving relationship. Why shouldn't 10 year olds be allowed to have sex with 30 year old men? Why not? It's a slippery slope and it's slipping quickly. This is what's happening. And I've been talking about this for a while, but it's a this is why I'm running for school board. As soon as I make my as soon as I finish my move, I'm running for school board, even though I'm only 24. It's because I don't want this crap in our schools. It's terrible stuff, guys. Real quick, before you leave, I want to thank you for watching this video, but I do request that you subscribe and hit that bell notification because according to this very real statistic, only 1% of you are subscribed and that's kind of low. So please subscribe, hit that bell notification and help me out. It is tough out here for Christian conservatives.